According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, or commonly known as the CDC, in 2019, 37% of U.S. high school students reported lifetime use of marijuana, and 22% reported use in the last 30 days. Marijuana is a popular drug used medically and recreationally in states such as Colorado, California, and recently Ohio. Ohio just passed Issue 2, which legalizes the recreational use of marijuana, which is considered a gateway drug to heavier substances and can be commonly found in high schools. I spent a great deal of time researching marijuana and its effects on our brain. Whether you're in high school or college, you probably know someone who smokes marijuana or pot. But despite that, in every stage of life, we experience the effects of drugs. We might witness a car accident due to driving under the influence or a drug overdose. Today, I hope to persuade you that we should not legalize recreational marijuana use because of its effects on traffic safety, workplace injuries, and overall drug addiction. Behind the wheel, drivers constantly have to make decisions based on their own actions and actions of other drivers. Drugs impair crucial driving skills such as reaction time, memory, and coordination. While we're behind the wheel, we constantly make decisions based on circumstances. Circumstances like traffic jams, aggressive drivers, and road conditions change what we need to do in order to stay safe on the road, whether that's a rainy day or someone weaving in and out of lanes. THC, or tetrahydrocannabinoid, is the main component found in marijuana. According to Economic Inquiry, the presence of any THC in the bloodstream leads to a 25% increase in the likelihood of a crash of any severity. Therefore, by legalizing the use of this drug, we're increasing the chances of people operating under the influence and therefore increasing the chances of crashes and fatalities due to crashes. The effects of marijuana on an individual's cognitive abilities and self-awareness also impair workplace behavior. Many businesses already require pre-employment drug testing in hopes to prevent drug-related workplace injuries. These injuries result in increases to businesses' insurance rates. While many businesses already require pre-employment drug testing, it does not stop people from using drugs at work. According to professional safety, organizations should consider drafting medical marijuana use agreements to ensure that employees understand the policies and the risks associated while operating under impairment. Hopefully, this will decrease the likelihood of workplace injuries due to strictly medical marijuana use. People who work in the manufacturing industry or operate heavy machinery have a significant risk of serious injury or fatality due to a work-related accident. The use of marijuana is only going to increase the chances of one of these serious accidents occurring. While we previously learned marijuana impairs reaction time, memory, and coordination, skills we need while driving, but we also need these skills in many different occupations. It is debated whether marijuana is a gateway drug to have your substances, but the United States has fought a drug addiction epidemic for decades. Drugs such as fentanyl, heroin, or cocaine. Now, while many marijuana users will not go on to use heavier substances, most heavy substance abusers started off with less powerful drugs such as marijuana. While marijuana is a less powerful drug, many teenagers and children are exposed to it. By legalizing the recreational use of this drug, we're only going to expose more children at an earlier age. According to the Journal of Child and Adolescent Substance Abuse, the use of marijuana at an earlier age is a significant factor that contributes to the possibility of developing a drug addiction. Drug addiction is a long and painful process that inevitably leads to serious health problems and possible mental health conditions. Drug addiction is a long, or many drug addicts <laughs> experience economic disadvantages, whether that's losing their job or losing their home. And I personally know coworkers who have strained family relationships or temporary living condi conditions due to their drug addiction. So by legalizing this drug, we're only increasing the accessibility and in return addiction rates. In conclusion, marijuana can be a gateway drug and its legalization jeopardizes the youth and citizens of our country. States should not legalize the recreational use of marijuana because it increases the chances of traffic accidents, workplace injuries, and addiction. I believe we're going to start seeing the impact of the legalization of marijuana in Ohio. And the outcome's not gonna be desirable considering Marion, our hometown, already experiences issues with drug addiction and overdose. So by 
legalizing the recreational use of this drug, we're increasing sex accessibility and we're going to also increase addiction. So how many more people are going to have to lose their livelihoods due to drug addiction just because we've legalized the recreational use of marijuana? 